Hey everyone, this is Tyler Lamparter and I'm a Principal Product Manager at Sligo. Today I'm going to show you how to create a connection to NSAW within Sligo, but also show you how to create a connection to your ADW instance within Oracle Analytics Cloud, um, aka NSAW. So first off, you'll probably, you're probably going to want Oracle SQL Developer. So I'm going to go ahead and come to Google, search for Oracle SQL Developer, go to the download page, and then download the um, specific download for your platform. So if you're Windows, Mac, Linux, download that and install it. From there, log in to your NSAW instance, come over to Warehouse, and you've got two things to do here. You've got downloading the Cloud Wallet. So if you just click Download, it should go down into your Downloads folder. Next, you want to reset your credentials. Um, this is if you haven't previously created credentials for your ADW instance. Um, if you already have those, those admin credentials made, just use the, the ones that you've already created. Um, but if not, you might want to reset your credentials here. Um, so I've already created them, um, so no need for me to reset it. So once you've got that, you'll actually want to open Oracle SQL Developer. And from here, you're going to want to create a connection um, to your ADW instance. So you can name that, um, maybe admin admin user, put in admin, and then put the password in that you just reset. So whatever you set it to. Um, typically, I'll save the password so I don't have to keep entering it in here. Um, next, you're going to want to go down to Cloud Wallet, and then you're going to browse for that zip file that was downloaded. Um, so wallet NSAW zip, and then choose your service. I typically just leave it at high, but you can choose low or medium as well. Um, next, you'll just save and connect it. Um, so I've already got one created. I'm actually going to go into it now. So I've got I've got this connection made for NSAW Dev Admin. Um, once it opens up, you should have this worksheet here. And next, we want to actually create a user um, that will um, be creating tables, but also be um, consuming those tables that are in your ADW instance. You probably don't want to use the admin account. Um, so here I'm making I'm making a Soligo user specifically specifically um, you know without admin privileges only these certain privileges needed um, so that I can successfully you know load data and query that data. Um, so all you're going to need to do here is maybe you know set up your username however you want. In my case, I just did it Soligo. Set the password to whatever you want. Um, and then run this. So I've already got a Sligo user made, but if I did another one here and then ran it, now I have this user created. Once I have that new user created, I'm going to go into Sligo, come over to resources, come to connections, create a connection, choose Oracle Autonomous Database slash NSAW, name it. I'm going to choose Cloud Wallet as the authentication type, put in my username and password. Um, in this case, it's going to be the user that we just created. So Sligo 10, and then whatever your password is, choose that zip file that you downloaded in an earlier step, and then choose the service name. So in this case, again, I'm just going to choose high, and then save and close. So now you've got that connection made within Sligo. And you're going to want to also create that connection in um, in SAW as well. So from here, you can create flows to actually insert data into your ADW instance. Um, but once you've inserted that data, you need in SAW to also connect um, to that instance of ADW. So if I come over to in SAW, if I come back here, go to OAC console. Um, and then come to connections. Oh, sorry. Come to home, then create a connection. Um, you're going to want to connect to Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse. You're going to name it, right? NSAW, mutual TLS, fine. Um, choose your wallet zip file here. Again, put the Sligo username. 
and then password. And then that service name will pop up once you select that zip file here. And that's pretty much it. So now once you have that connection created in NSAW, you can go create a data set to pull in that data that's sitting in the database. And then once you have that data set, you can create your visualizations off of it. So hopefully that's helpful and I'll see you guys on the next one.